So today we've got Sean come to help me. We're going to see if we can get the engine started. This is the first time he's seen this fan. Mr. Walsh, there she is. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you one thing. It's cool. <laughs> the pink ice cream van is pretty cool. <laughs> Do we need another project or what? <laughs> no, no, so, no, we don't. <laughs> oh, bloody heck. So, go on then. When was the last time it actually did anything? Well, we know it did a, a feature for Mini World in 1996. All right. It hasn't been on the road since 1984, we don't think. There's some paperwork inside that says it hasn't done anything. So, I've got no idea. <laughs> And I'll, we've got to try and get this running. Yeah. How long is this going to take? A little day. Oh, yeah, thanks, <laughs> yeah. I hope you've got plenty of tea. We're going to need it. Oh. Yeah. oh, well, yeah, well, what the hell. We've got nothing else to do today, have we? No. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, yeah, then. it's got, I don't know, I'll show you. I took a video yesterday showing the inside. It was like a water tank you can see inside. Yeah. Um, I think it somehow connects the engine. It might give hot water to the sink. It probably should have to have hot water for uh, hygiene so, reasons. Yeah. They must, so. Usually these sort of things for hygiene, you'd have to have some way of technically washing your hands. Yeah. Stroke, keeping the old um, ice cream scoops, because you need warm water for the ice cream scoops, don't you? Yeah. What's also cool is I got a certificate from uh, Mini Heritage. Yeah. And it shows when it left the factory, it left in primer. It was never painted and it went to the crew dealership, which is right where yeah. this was built by Cummings. So, so was it built as an ice cream van or as a pickup? It was built by Mini as a pickup. Yeah. It was always designated to turn into an ice cream van. Right. That's why so, it was never painted. Yeah, it was always left in primer because because they were it was going straight to the custom body to, shop. Yeah. Custom body shop, exactly. Yeah. It's cute. It's really <laughs> cute. It's really. I bet it's good. You're going to get some giggles driving it. Yes. Oh. oh, Jesus. Yeah. Freshly made for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my giddy arms. Well, I think you best get the kettle on and we'll have a look around it. Let's open the bonnet and see what we're in. Oh, <laughs> oh right. It's one of these. Oh, yeah. oh, but it does open. Yeah, just about. Yeah, yeah, it's old. Yeah, yeah. I think we might need to hoover it first, Colin. <laughs> Take the leaves and the straw out, but hey, that's the right originality. Originality is what it's all about. Uh, so, well, we've got the engine number. Can we look? Have you looked that up? Yeah, that's. I've got the heritage certificate, and that matches. So, I've got that lead. I don't know what that connects to. Uh, yeah, we'll have a look at that. <laughs> so. Yeah, we've had an alternator conversion, which is not a stupid idea. Might very sensible. No air filter. What the dickens that is? I, have. I don't know. It's inside. I think it might be something to do with the old chimes or something like that. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe it was. Yeah, the diddly diddly do horn. Yeah, because there's no there's no chimes in here, so I don't know. But that the other end of this cable's got the same connector right. as inside. So, right. I'm assuming that's what it is. Well, I think we get a bit of a rag. We have a look and see what the state of the oil is. And then we just go through it and see, maybe we can get it to run. Good plan. Take the plugs out, but we'll, um, once we've looked at the oil, if the oil's a bit rubbish, I think we should change it before we throw dirty oil around an, an engine. We I can, think, yeah, like I said, I think the oil's probably shot, because I don't think it would have been run for years. No. Nah. Yes. And we'll pull the plugs out, put a bit of oil down the bores, try and turn it over. And if it turns over, and maybe, you know, see if he's got a spark compression, bit of fuel down it, and psh, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh, fuel oh. fill pipe's been taken off. Uh, ooh. Mm. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Stuff's not attached. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Might need some screws. <laughs> all right. I know a place where I can get some more screws. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, what do we reckon? Get the hoover in here, get the leaves out. 
yeah, give good. it a bit of a wipe down and then uh, we'll check the oil and see what we can learn. So after going over the engine bay with a hoover, we thought it's about time we took the dipstick out and checked the oil. Once we've done that, we're going to remove the HT leads. And if getting them off is anything to go by, the rest of this project's going to be a pain. That's not clean. I mean, it's not diesel black, but it's it's not clean. And it hasn't got a lot in it by the look of it. No. Hang on, I'll do that again. See, see. But, yeah, that's uh, well down. And it's a bit... Well, I've seen a lot worse. To be honest, I think it's not full. Why don't we dip, dump the oil? Go and get some oil. Yeah dump it and then um, at least we push some clean oil around it maybe we can get to the oil filter maybe we can't um, and just uh, put some fresh oil in it in the end all right try seven eight colin here we go mm. no one up from that 15 16th so we've got a socket we've got a socket yeah oh that's brilliant thank you Yep, right, oil drain tray. Right next to you. See if we'll break the seal. Broke it, isn't it? Well, it's a sump plug, it shouldn't be too bad. Come on, you little git. <laughs> so now it's the moment of truth. What is the oil going to look like? I've seen this before and it doesn't look good. As you can see, there looks like water coming out first, but we'll see. Uh -huh. Ooh. Ooh, well, let's leave that for a few minutes. So while the oil's draining out, we're going to remove the spark plugs. I'm going to mark up all the HT leads as well, make sure we get them back in the right place. Give us the best chance. All right. I know it's a transverse engine, but I always take Number one is by the front of the engine, which is the radiator. So I'm just going to put a bit of a mark pen on there. That come on, yeah, that's all right. And two, three, four. I know it probably won't go back any other way, but Sob's law says it will go wrong. So while Sean fights with these HT leads, I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about them in the ice cream van. It's based on an Austin Mini pickup and it was originally built on the 19th of August 1965. When it left the factory, it actually left in primer because it was always going to go off to be converted. The conversion to the bodywork was done by Cummings. Once they had finished the work, they then sent it off to Whitby Morrison, who then did all the ice cream conversion. So all the big fridges, the chimes, all the interior kit out, the hot water, etc. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this will be the slowest restoration in history here, Colin. We can't get a plug cleaned off. <laughs> Give me a clue. Yeah. You've got a pry bar. Screwdriver. it. See, this is where I stab my finger, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Come on, look at all the bennet. Oh, that wasn't tight. Be interested to see how these look, how they've yeah. been running. So, yeah. <laughs> what do you expect? An old engine, it's called the Bennett. Everything's so cold. <sighs> it's a bit dark and sooty, but well, let's see if they're all the same, to be honest. Yep. And the fact that the carburetor's in bits, I think someone was been trying to get this to run. Potentially, well, within the last few years. Same. Yeah, all the same, aren't they? Oh, that was loose. That's not even. Someone's definitely been playing. We'll put a drop of oil down each bore. Yeah. And just leave it. I mean, it can't hurt. Have some more tea. Uh, have some tea. Spin the engine over once we've got, well, we haven't got to that point yet. Um, once we've got some oil in it. Yeah, they're all the same. 
I think I've worked out where that dodgy wire is not doing anything. I think that's a temperature sensor on the water pump housing. That's broken off. Add that to the shopping list. So have you probably guessed, mini ice cream vans are very, very rare. I'd never actually seen one in person. I didn't even know they existed until 2012 so cool. where I saw one for sale. Never managed to buy that one, but I've been watching them ever since. Thanks, mate. I think we start thinking about looking at the oil filter tight underneath. So, a few years ago, I then saw this one come up for sale. It was a little bit too expensive at the time, but I kept watching and following it to see what the progress was on it. Eventually, the price started dropping and it got close to what I thought would be a fair price for it. Eventually, it got to where I wanted. I made an offer and bought it. I'd never even seen it until the day it got delivered. Well, in the, this temperature. Really down the arm. Oh, oh, we lost it. No, we haven't. We caught it. <laughs> we caught it. The mini caught it. Yeah. All right, we'll just leave that drip for a bit. That looks a bit cleaner in the oil filter, but that just could just be my imagination. No, it's not. <laughs> it's just. Like squeeze Jenga moment, yeah, whatever it is. Ooh, that's it. We're out. We're out. Yeah, yeah there's the dish that goes underneath it. it. Pushes up. There's probably a spring underneath that. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah, there's a spring. sludgy down there but I think that's what we expected really wasn't it Some light on it. yeah so what we've done now is we've cleaned out the oil filter and we've then filled the engine up with oil we're now going to okay. go and think about looking to see if we've got a spark that looks okay see what we've got. Right, you'll need the ignition on. See if the key will work. <laughs> Not a sausage. Not a sausage. Hang on. See if all the leads are in. Got one more go. No. No, all right. I'll go back to cleaning points and doing all that stuff. The rotor arm. It's not too, I wouldn't have thought that was too bad. We'll give it a wipe up, but I mean, let's not go over the top. And so we'll give the points a bit of a dust. Okay, off. Let's just close those points up. That's closed. <laughs> So our first thought was that we could just clean the points with a bit of emery paper. Um, access seemed a bit hard, so we ended up having to tank it out. I think we're going to work on the principle that we're not touching the timing until we know for certain that it isn't all right. Come on. Open up, you little pointy things. It's like an octopus. I can't do it. Right, that's your condenser, that gold little thing down there. That's supposed to stop the spark plugs burning out when they're uh, 
and the arc's jumping, jumping across. Hopefully, that's, see that little thing there? That, that's your condenser, so hopefully that's in good nick. But we did get a spare, so but if you look, the points are opening and closing. Now there's the lift, should be opening there. Yeah, it does look like it needs. But there's just a little bit furry there, isn't it? Right, we need to clean that. They're a bit grubby and furry on the ends. I think I think what we'll do is we'll just take them out, and give them a clean. Okay. And then we can reset the gap. Is that a captive screw? That's we're not that lucky, are we? And then the contact breaker plate is out. That was all little screws and washers. Pop that off there. Yeah, and that's a bit sort of dirty. We've knocked a lot of it off already, I think, so we'll just give that a bit of a clean up, dust it out, reset it, put it back, and see what we shall see. So we cleaned the points and refitted them to the engine. We tried again with a spark plug. We did get a spark this time, but it was really, really weak. So now we're gonna go and change the coil, so hopefully this will help. You've got some nice sockets. Right, we said that was on the top. That's a horrible connection. That was on the bottom. That's another horrible connection. Let's push in. Right. You got the ignition on? I haven't. Let me go and do that for you. Can I try it? Or are you going to do it? Uh, you could try it, yeah. <laughs> well, it's better. Let's see if it'll go through the distributor. Go on then. Try it again. Ignition on. Hmm. It's not exactly the best spark in the world, but it's got one. So now what we're doing is we're filling the float chamber off the carburetor with some fuel. Okay. At least we know it's full. Yeah. <laughs> well, if by some remote chance it actually does something, then we'll put a bottle on it. But we're not going to run it for long anyway, are we? No. I don't think there's any chance of this working. You don't? Oh, well, have a little faith. As you could probably tell, I didn't have a lot of faith in this. Yeah. Right. Well, you better be in the driving seat, Colin. This is your toy. Yeah, that's a bit of petrol. If the actual solenoid works. Solenoid on the list. Ready? Yeah. New solenoid needed. Yeah, ready? Yep. Yeah. One more time. The throttle didn't work, it was very, very sticky. Very sticky. Good job we weren't driving yeah, this. Right. Let's just put a bit of oil on the throttle cable or WD or something, can't case you. Go on, work the throttle up a bit. Oh, my finger's gone. All right, try the choke as well. Hang on. Hang on. Wait, don't do anything. Shh. 
Should be moving now. This one, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. All right, give it some choke and see what happens. Ready? Are you doing the choke? No, you've done the choke. Okay, yeah. Good. Ready? Fingers? Yeah. You got the ignition on? Yeah. Whoa, did that nearly start? It nearly went. Yeah. It nearly went, yeah. Yeah, give it all the time. Let it go a couple of seconds, then suck it. Okay. Yeah. Holy cow, it's actually running. It's all the way. Oh no.